we're out here on Bushman Safaris, heading out to the blind this morning. Uh, just gonna, we're gonna sit in it all day, and see what comes in, see if we can't put a couple animals down today. Okay, we just got to the blind for the day. I get it set up and uh, get ready to hunt something. All right, we got uh, day number five here at Bushman Safari. Today we're, me and Paul are in one of the elevated blinds. It looks really nice. Uh, it sounds like there's a good chance maybe an eland or a zebra comes in. So those are the two animals we're hoping for for today. But otherwise we're gonna just sit here and see what comes in. Shot a nice gims buck. Did you see all the blood? I think that almost looked like a heart shot. That was a lot. Whew. Is it that tree that he went by? He kind of took off that way after he went. All right, well, we were just following the blood trail. Left a pretty good blood trail the whole way. It probably went, I don't know, 100 yards, 150 yards. And the trackers found him laying under this tree. So we got him. We're going to go get him up and take care of him. All right, we're down here, uh, Bushman Safari, South Africa. Uh, this morning, me and Paul got in the draft blind. It's elevated blind. Uh, we were hoping for a zebra or impala, but I still had a gimsbach on the list. And uh, these guys came in, there's three of them. Uh, they came in maybe an hour after we arrived. Uh, this one was quartering away at 19 yards and shot him perfectly. He did run further than we thought, but beautiful animal. So we're gonna get him, uh, get him out of here. We'll keep going. Okay, welcome to Bushman Safaris. We're gonna give you a tour of the entire place right now. Right here is where you're gonna meet the professional hunters every morning to go out to your blinds. Uh, now we're gonna head in and show you what the lodging looks like. Okay, Bushman's has two rooms to offer. Uh, one they have a queen bed in, and then the other rooms have twin beds in. Um, very spacious, very modern, updated, and then full bathrooms in every room. Okay, now I'm gonna show you where we eat breakfast every morning. Okay. 
Here's where we eat breakfast every morning. They'll put the food out here and you'll have plates and everything you'll need for breakfast on the table here. Okay, this is where we have dinner most nights. Uh, some nights we'll have dinner out there in the fire pit. Um, after dinner, we hang out here on the couches next to the fire, maybe have a drink or two. This is the fishing pond. There's bass and tilapia in there. We've got a bunch of fishing poles. Uh, it's a really nice spot to come out in the mornings and fish, watch the sunrise, or uh, watch the sunset over there as well. Okay, now we're gonna head to the archery range. Okay, here's the archery practice range. Uh, it's just standard 20 here, and you can back up to 30, 40, 50 if you need to, just to get dialed and confident in your bow before you go out and hunt. Okay, we're back to where we started. Um, that concludes our tour of Bushman Safaris. Okay, it's day six here at Bushman Safaris in South Africa. Stephen and I have uh, quite a few animals left to shoot on our list. Uh, we're in the warthog blind this morning, so uh, we're just gonna get set up and wait for something to come in. Hey Shannon, this is Paul and Steven. Standing by. We just shot a nice warthog. Uh, good shot. Good job, man. We'll see you soon. That's great. Yeah. Oh, good job, sir. Thank you. Good shooting. 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 Good shoo
Good job. Okay, it's day six here at Bushman Safaris in South Africa. Uh, we were in the warthog blind today. Uh, two hours in, this uh, nice mature boar came in. Uh, 20 yard shot, quartered away. It maybe went 50 yards and expired. And so uh, the guys came down here and, and tracked it and helped me got it all set it up. And we're gonna get it out of here, here in just a, a second and get back in the blind for the rest of the day. Well, it is our 10th day here at Bushman Safaris in South Africa. Uh, we only have a couple days left, so we're going to split up and Carl and Paul are going to go to their individual blinds and then I'm going to go to the Sable blind, which I was there yesterday. Uh, looking for a water buck, zebra, elin today, so we're going to see what comes in. beast come in and he kind of kept walking by and as I was filming the wildebeest leave I just saw the tips of some horns and noticed the water buck was coming in. Uh, he was broadsided about 18 yards. It looked like I hit him right behind the shoulder. So I'm going to call Shannon and see if we can't send out the trackers. Shannon, this is Steven. Do you copy? This is Steven at the Sable Blind. I just hit a water buck. Good, Steven, did he give you the good shot? It looks like it. It looks like it was right, just right behind the crease of the front shoulder. Then we'll come and see what happens.
Wow. All right, we're at day 10 here at Bushman Safaris in South Africa. This morning, uh, I went in the sable, uh, sable blind by myself. Uh, this guy actually came in first thing about 15 minutes after Nick uh, dropped me off. He came right in, watered, but turned right back around, never presented a shot. Uh, so I, I knew he'd come back in later this afternoon and around 12 o'clock he came back in and I made a great shot on him and Shannon and the trackers did an amazing job finding him. So we're going to get him out of here uh, and get back, get back in the blind for this evening. Okay, it's day 11 here at Bushman Safaris in South Africa. I'm in the Kudu blind today. I'm going to go solo again so that we can try to maximize our, our hunters and try to get some more animals down. Uh, not a lot of people have been in the blind, in this blind, uh, the last few days, so I'm really hopeful that today's gonna be a good day. Hey, Shannon, do you copy? Bye. Just had a good shot on a management blue wildebeest. Okay, good bull. You did the best. Sounds good. Okay, it's day 11 here at Bushman Safaris in South Africa. I've been at the Kudu blind all day. It's been a slow day until these two bull, two bulls came in right here at the Salt Lake for right at 32 yards, and they hung out for about 20 minutes. And this guy gave me a, a pretty good quarter away shot um, and put one in him, and he he didn't go far actually. He fell right down and and then expired. So just thankful for Shannon and the the guys here at Bushman's for uh, helping me get this this nice wildebeest. Okay, it's our final day here at Bushman Safaris. Um, I'm going to be sitting in the giraffe blind today seeing what comes in over this water hole and uh, seeing if we can't get anything down on the ground. So let's get up there and get ready and see what we can do today. All right, so Carl radioed us, said he shot in Polo. Was a good shot. Now we're just gonna go and retrieve it. You see the arrow there? In the water. Nice, man. Was it a good shot, you said? Yeah, it was a good shot, man. It was awesome. Good job. Good job. Thank you. 
Yeah, there's some good blood though already from the initial shot. <laughs> good job, man. Which way did it run? We went straight over here and then back okay. to the right. Let's go. Oh, yeah. All right, welcome to uh, Bushman Safaris uh, here in South Africa. Uh, today is our last day here and uh, was able to harvest this beautiful Impala. Um, super excited about this experience that we've had and the amazing staff and the animals. I mean, everything about this experience has been absolutely amazing. Uh, I wanna say thank you to Gert, Shannon, Johan, and uh, a big donkey to, to Gideon, Lucky, Wilson uh, for, for their tracking and for the skinning and prep of the animal. Uh, without them, uh, you know, this definitely wouldn't be possible. So uh, again, grateful for everybody that's uh, been a part of this and, and made this experience extremely enjoyable. Definitely look forward to coming back to Bushman Safaris here in South Africa. Uh -huh.